All right, y'all. So look, it's your boy Jamal, and I'm back for another video. So look, and in today's video, right, I got you with something new, man. Like, this is something new that I'm bringing to my channel, and like I've been doing this for about like a month, and I've been getting great results, right, for this. So look, I'm just gonna be how to get rid of dark marks on your face and how to clip your acne. Um, this doesn't require a lot of you know a lot of products, only two products, and just a few steps that you have to do every day just, just to get the best results, you feel me? And um, I feel like the type of person that likes to, like, you know, don't go by the rules. If you don't get the results you want, then it's not my fault, you feel me? Just go by everything I do, and you'll get the right results. All right, so look, the first thing is, right, to get rid of acne is stop drinking juice, bro. Stop drinking juice and eating junk food because it brings in, you know, pimples on your face, and it just breaks out. You know what I'm saying? For like a week straight, when I was, it was like about like a year ago. For like a week straight, I just had straight junk food, like straight chips and candy, juice, and I just got pimples everywhere. And I realized that like, that shit really like affects your face when you eat too much sweets. So stop drinking juice. It's going to make you break out. All right. Tip number two. I'm going to keep looking over there because I have my um, my list over there. So yeah. Um, tip number two is water, bro. Water is going to be like your best friend. Like, I don't drink juice anymore at all. If I do if I do drink something, it's going to probably be, like, milk. Or just maybe... I might I might drink juice probably, like, once a week. Maybe it's, like, something like that, but not, like, OD for me. And, yeah, drink water. Drink a lot of water. Water's going to help, like, hydrate your skin. Um, help, your, help, help your face clear up and all that. So, use water, too. Drink a lot of water. I drink, like, about, like... Maybe, like, four bottles a day. But I'm trying to get that higher, you feel me? But, yeah, drink a lot of water. All right. Tip number two, I mean, tip number three is your phone. Some of y'all like, I'm going to use it for example, right? Like, use the principle for example. Some of y'all be on your phone, right? Having it mad close to your face, that's bad. Your phone carries a lot of germs, bro. And I could bring in bumps too. Like, having your phone touching your face, like, you put your phone on, I don't know, the floor, the table, the gym floor, school table. Yeah, like, it causes a lot of germs to happen. I mean, yeah, marks on your face and shit like that. And it could bring in germs in your face, which will, like, eventually cause bumps. So don't put your phone to your face at all no more. And, um, and stop touching your face, too. That's tip number four. Stop touching your face. Like, I used to be, like, this in class, touching, like, play with my hair or, like, touch somebody on phone, and now I just touch my face. Scratch my face. Don't do that, bro. That brings in a lot of germs in your face, too. Don't touch your face no more. Don't put your phone to your face no more. None of that. You know what I'm saying? That causes a lot of bacteria to go to your face, and it creates bumps. Um, this is a tip that I learned by myself. You have to change your pillowcase probably, like, every week, to be honest. Like, like me, I have, like, freeform germs, right? So, like, I can't really wash my head out often, so my head, like, have, like, a lot of bacteria and germs. So, like, I have to, like, change my pillowcase almost every... I change it, like, three times a week, to be honest. Sometimes, too. But mainly three times a week if I don't feel like doing it sometimes. If you change your pillowcase a lot, because it's going to help your face. I'm going to help your pillow not carry down with germs. And yeah, you just change they're gonna make it better anyway. New pillowcase. Um and something that I learned too is that you're gonna have pimples that just that just are just gay. Like pimples that just like do some neck shit like like pimples, right? Like you would like put alcohol in it, right? And then it would like, you know, it would like get hard and dry up, right? And then you'd be like, Oh yeah, that shit gone for me. And then next thing you know, you see a dark mark. Like, you're going to have to expect that. Like, I don't know how to even stop that. Like, I'm still learning right now from, like, people, but I don't even know how to stop that. Like, a pimple, right? It would come in your face. You put alcohol. You know, you, you wouldn't touch it. You let it dry up. And then all of a sudden, it would just dry up and then go away. Then you see, like, a dark mark. I don't know how to stop that, to be honest. If you have tips about that, then let me know. But other than that, I don't know how to stop that. That's why I have the products I use. But I'm going to show you that at the end. But, um... Don't pick up bumps, too. Like, I don't pick at any of my bumps. I used to do that, like, ask my mother to, like, pop it for me, but I don't do that anymore because it causes them to grow. You know, so I leave my bumps alone. It makes them grow, and it looks, you know, hideous. When it gets fat on your face, you got a big-ass, fat-ass pimple in your face. Ugh, you know what I'm saying? Don't come near me, you feel me? But, yeah, just, you know, don't pick up bumps. You know, just add your alcohol. I use alcohol still with bumps. No, no, actually, I don't use alcohol. I use this product I use. But, yeah, if you don't have that, then just use alcohol. Alcohol is the same thing. It really makes it shrink, and it goes down for me. All right, now to the products, right? 
So look, I use black African soap. You know what I'm saying? I seen videos on YouTube before I bought it. There was like how it makes your face um become darker, at least like burn marks on your face. Um, I had one burn mark. It was under my eye, but then it went away after a few. After my face got used to it, it happened like after like the first two days I was using it, and it went away after a few. You feel me? But other than that, it's good. It helped my face clear up OD like a lot. My face is black on the side on both sides, and it cleared up OD. I've been using this for about um three weeks exactly. And I was like, I gotta put y'all on to the sauce, you feel me? Cause my shit is clear. Now I can have y'all out here with black faces, you feel me? But give me until probably June with this same product, my shit gonna be OD clear, like OD, OD clear, like valid clear, you feel me? And what I use to moisturize my face is 100% um, shea butter, shea nut butter. Uh, it doesn't have to be the raw one, it could be any shea butter, I think. But this is the one I use. I'm gonna, you can screenshot it if you want to, you know what I'm saying? But I use shea butter. Um, because the African soap, like, it makes your face mad dry, like, OD dry, like, dry, dry, like, OD. So, this right here is, like, mad thick. And then, it, like, it's better than any moisturizer because, like, it lasts for, like, the whole day. So, for this right here, you don't need that much because it be having your face mad oily, like. So, just use a little bit of this, you feel me? And use that African black soap. But, yeah, um... My face is not all the way clear yet, but it's, like, you can't really see. I have, like, a few dark marks. Like, right here, I have, like, one or two. And, like, right here, I have, like, one or two. But it's not OD. Like, OD dark marks. But I've been using this for about a month. And now I'm like, all right, since I know, like, the results about it, I got to put, you know, my my YouTube onto it. You feel me? Got to put you onto the source. But um, if I get any other product, I'm going to put y'all onto it. And I'm going to tell y'all, like, if it's good or not. You feel me? But um, what else? Just don't drink a lot of juice. Don't drink juice at all no more. Just, you know, like probably once a week if you really want to. If you like a fiend, you can't drink water, then just drink juice. If you want to die, fuck it. But um, don't put your phone to your face. Don't touch your face. Change your pillowcase um, every week or twice a week. Um, you're going to have bumps that like um get dried up and dark and they just make a dark mark. That's how they come. And... Don't pick at your bumps at all. You feel me? And use your African black soap. Oh, I'm bugging. Use it. Use this in the morning and at night time. Use it twice a day. But if your face is like OD, like if you have like a sensitive face, then probably use it once a day. Probably at night time. You're going to sleep it off. You feel me? And use this after you put on the African black soap. It's going to be like your best friend right here. These two. No, these three. This right here. These two in water are like your best friends. And don't touch your face, bro. Of course, it's going to clear up, you feel me? But um, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments, and I'm going to comment back quick. Because if you have any tips for me, let me know also, because I want my shit to be OD clear. But um, other than that, um, make sure you follow my Instagram, Jamar NYC. Um, leave any comments, and I'll help you. And, you know, we can learn from each other, because I'm still learning, too. I just, I just put you on to what I did so far. But I know down the road, I'm going to have more products that I'm going to learn about. And I'm going to push out onto it. But um, other than that, make sure to like the video, subscribe. Follow my Instagram, Jamal NYC. Jamal NYC. And I'm out.